Marcia Barrett got the call. Her 39-year-old cousin, Sheldon McKenzie, was in hospital. A head injury suffered on the job at a tomato farm in Ontario. His face was completely bondage. He was um, swollen. Um, when we got there, he was on life support. Mackenzie was in Canada as part of the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program. Barrett says there was immediate pressure to have him sent home to Jamaica. And it came, she says, from a surprising source, the Jamaican liaison officer whose job it is to advocate for workers. Barrett believes workers are pushed out to avoid compensation claims and damage to the reputation of the program. The only way he was a ship back maybe in three days was because we were there with our heels stuck in saying no. Because the health care in Jamaica is not up to par to take care of the kind of injury that he has. Sheldon McKenzie died in Canada of his injuries. The organization in charge of Jamaican liaison says it's unaware of its officers putting that kind of pressure on injured workers or their families. To be blunt, I consider this an apartheid system. Chris Ramsarup is a labor rights advocate. A recent study found over a 10-year period, almost 800 injured temporary foreign workers left the country without proper medical treatment. That was just in Ontario. Advocates say when workers get sick or hurt, they lose their work visas. And then the provinces cut off their health care coverage. Migrant workers live and work under a different set of legal rights and obligations than we do. Um, we aren't denied basic human rights. We're not denied basic health care. It's shocking. GoPublic um, brought Sheldon McKenzie's case to the federal minister responsible. I think that you asked the question, how many temporary foreign workers have died on, on Canadian soil? I got, you know, it was surprising to learn that, that the Canadian government actually doesn't keep track. It will definitely be something that we should look at. And now it looks like the government will. A review of the entire temporary foreign worker program starts today. Minister Mahai Chuck says given Go Public's findings, the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program will be part of that review. Recommendations are expected in June. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.